Hello and welcome to Click Data and the course Learn Microsoft PowerPoint 2007. Have you been asked to hold a PowerPoint presentation and don't know where to start? In this course you will learn the basics. Create presentation slides, insert content and start from everything PowerPoint 2007 has to offer. Most of all, it is so much easier now to make graphically beautiful pictures with the help of themes, smart art graphics and many different layouts compared to what we had before. You will enhance the layout. Prepare for notes and handouts and get ready for the presentation. This is the outline for the course. PowerPoint 2007 has a whole new look and that's why we'll start in the first chapter with getting acquainted with the program interface, the new ribbon and how you handle your presentations. In the second chapter we will work with the text and if you've worked in Word before you will recognize the text editing. But I will also show you that in PowerPoint you handle texts like objects which makes it easier to place them wherever you want. Chapter 3 is about layout, how you make your presentation look professional and what available templates there are in PowerPoint. Of course you can also make your own templates. Most companies have set presentation templates concerning fonts, colors and pictures. You will save a lot of time making a template that you can reuse over and over again. We will continue in Chapter 4 by inserting objects in your presentations to both illustrate and visualize your information and your ideas. We will adjust objects, create shapes and designs by using smart art. In the fifth chapter, you will arrange your slides. Create links, sort your information or hide some slides. You can comment your colleagues' work or vice versa. We will also sort out how to get the chosen language inserted in all of your objects. Finally, we will of course look at how you present a slideshow, add both transitions and more advanced animations in order for your presentation to be interesting to look at. Naturally, we will also go through printing and lastly packaging so that you can get out there and set up your slideshow. As usual, lots to go through. Let's start right away. Welcome. I have now started PowerPoint and under View I select Normal. Normal View means that there are three windows. One is this slide sorter, the other is my actual slide and at the bottom of this page you can see the third window, My Notes. Here I can click and write something, for example, my manuscript, what I want to say in my lecture. If I need more space for my notes, I just drag and drop here and then drop and release it in order to get the right size for the window I'm currently working in. If I want to add more slides, this is where I do this, with the right click. Then add a new slide and here you can see this new slide. I can see here that I have a default in the layout, so I just go back to the first slide like this. This yellow frame means that this slide is the one selected. Here I choose a title in what is called the placeholder. In the placeholder you write for example titles, subtitles and if I click the next slide we see that here I can add text pictures and other things like tables, charts or whatever I want to have in my slide. At the left bottom we see that we are at slide 2 out of 2 and that the layout I'm working with is Theme Office. With a right click I get a display of different settings where I can, for example, customize my status bar. If I choose not to show my theme I tick off the box and we see that Theme Office disappears here in my bar. I can choose theme again if I want to, as well as spell check. We see that here it says no errors, since I haven't written anything yet, and therefore haven't made any errors. Whenever you want to reopen the display, go down here again, click and choose what kind of information you want to have in your bar. Next, we will look at how to zoom. First, we have to make sure which window we want to zoom. 
I click in this window in order to activate any chosen object and make sure that it is this window I am zooming. When I've zoomed as much as possible and want to go back and see the slide adjusted in my window, I click this button here that says Fit Slide to Current Window. We now see that the slide adjusts to my window. Now, start your PowerPoint and look at these different parts in PowerPoint so that you will feel comfortable in the program's interface.